he walked past me and i forgot to pinch my nose and now there's bones growing inside my body what's up everybody it's your girl bc jane and welcome to my youtube channel special welcome if you're in for the first time and a mega welcome if you're a returning subscriber super glad to have you here hope you like the video like now thank you and um yeah subscribe if you will so this video has been a long long coming um i don't know my friends my youtube my youtube acquaintances and friends are always doing like a live life update right so i figured yeah no let me also do one let me also do a life update because yeah i've been i've gone missing quite a number of times i think twice last year and once this year like for a long time sorry i'm always yawning literally 24 7 i'm always yawning but um yeah guys so life update what has been going on um so you guys remember that i'm not sure if you will remember if you're new here let me just start from the beginning so last year my health um started to decline you know and this was when i had sore knees for like three months like it was really painful if i were to sit and then get up again my knees would be so painful that i have to be so sorry <laughs> like literally i'm gonna be yawning every second so sorry like i'm gonna try and like edit that part out anywho so um what would happen is that um oh by the way don't mind these things in the background oh this is a fleece blanket so it's fine but it's, a, it's distracting me okay so last year november funny enough i'm posting i'm shooting this in november and last year november uh my health um started declining so it was first my knees in september and my knees were sore from september october and up until up until november then november my my tooth cracked like my tooth uh, my upper tooth i don't know what type of tooth it is but my upper tooth cracked and it cracked while well it kind of like i bit into something hard and then like there wasn't any pain so i guess it cracked but i wasn't aware and then um while i was teaching mid my class it cracked like it literally i felt something go down and i was like oh my gosh what is this when i did this i was like ah it's in your land it's in your life, but anyways sorry so yeah then so it was my knees then it was my tooth um my tooth and then it was an ovarian cyst guys periods for 10 days you so i went to my periods for 10 days and i was like what is this what punishment i didn't give eve the apple i did not give eve the apple so why why Nike? but anyways um so i went through that but like i wasn't sure what it was right and um i started experiencing and i started experiencing period like pains guys it was horrible because my thing is i stopped having period like pains in 2009 i went to a uh, a church it's a church local church here in middleburg and i told the pastor i don't know i think i i went there with like childlike faith and i was like look i've been having period pains and they're really excruciating and i'd really like them to stop because i i'm in so much pain every time i'm on my periods and mind you i'm telling a man but i my relationship to the pastor i think i somewhat took him as you this is my dad you know that th that's how much wisdom and um and warmth he always preached like yeah i don't know like that's how i perceived him like i was just like yo i wish this man was my dad i love my dad my real dad i love him but you know sometimes you experience even doctors like you experience a doctor in a certain way and you're like sure i wish you were my dad you know so anyways that was the thing and um so i told him i was like yo i'm always in pain my periods my periods and then he prayed for me and then before the service ended he prayed for me again and that was like the last of my periods that was like the first time i was like oh jesus and ula you here so anyways yeah 
um so yes that's how i got introduced into christianity like properly um does that make sense anywho so it was so now i'm experiencing period like pains and i'm like but what's this hey not me trying to speak closer but anyways so i'm like but i don't know what's going on so why am i going through it um so my periods lasted for 10 days and then i was going through it like i was going through so much pain and funny thing is a friend of mine had a cyst And then I got it like a month after. So then we started calling each other sister, sister. Like I'll write the spelling on the screen. So we're like sister. Um, although we were going through pain, we were like finding amusement through the pain. You know, just like supporting each other through it. So what happened is I go to Mbanani. I go to the clinic, a doctor. Yeah, um clinic center or something like that i go there and the doctor does a scan and she's like are you pregnant i'm like girl no please me i don't speak to boys every time boys look at me i i pinch my nose so anyways i was like no nah, there's not even a ch single chance of that cool um they do the scan and then she's like i suspect you might have the cyst of uh, ovary of the cyst or cyst of the ovary so she said it in some way like that and i was like okay what's that and she was like i need to go to mid i need to go to a private hospital here in Meadowburg. and so i went and i drank a lot of water and i had to wait in order for my bladder to be full it was the most painful sad moment in my life because i'm like what am i going through first of all first of all i'm going to keep up with my 950 for this thing and keep it 500 and keep a 400 and something for my blood tests <sighs> I was not okay that day i was not okay but anyways so um i went i i went i think my bladder got full and i went into the scan and then they were like yeah there's definitely a cyst um i think they said they found two i'm not sure but the dominating one was on the left and then um they told me that i've got fibroids or something like that um of which the few months in this year i then went to uh my gynae he's the one that helped uh birth Gumgani, my son and um he then told me that no girl you can rule out the whole fibroids thing i don't see no fibroids here however your cyst has ruptured so he's like however your cyst has ruptured and i'm like yo but and the problem is i was still in a lot of pain so that was like a concern for him so yeah like it's health wise my life has just been like a roller coaster you know it really has been a roller coaster but um we made it um i went to a different hospital i went to a provincial hospital because cool lot dr law i had to cough up like 2.5 no 2.2 before the money the money went up you know that financial year every year it goes up you guys so your files are gonna be in america it is so far anywho so yeah man that's what happened and so then i went to the provincial hospital to see would see Bona, would they be able to do a diagnostic laparoscopy and whatnot to see what the problem could be as to why i continue to have so much pain so anyways i go to the provincial hospital and they're like oh look because the 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 private hospital doctor the guy knee he showed me that oh look it has ruptured and now there's fluid so i'm not sure if that was just like the clear fluid that just like accumulates into the sac or if it was like maybe bleeding or anything like that i don't think we went into detail but when i went to the provincial hospital they found another cyst so and i'm like how surely i'm a sister i'm a sister because i'm out here what's the word i'm out here gathering you know these cysts, the these cysts so i turned into a sisterhood thing going on in my body and yeah like it was excruciating it was painful because i remember emotionally i was not okay last year like it would yo it did the most to my um emotions how i felt and that's when i started like that's when i started 
that's when i stopped posting um my videos that's when i stopped posting videos because i just i can't be in front of the camera and be like hey guys it's a girl you was a jane and then i'd be like this afterwards I, like i couldn't like i couldn't do that so yeah like health wise my life woo, it has shown me flames and i don't know who else like any woman who has been going through a plummeting stage where like the like their health just like declines you know i'm almost 30 i can't wait i can't wait to turn 30 guys like wow i've always been excited for my birthday always um no matter how little or big of things i do but for me my birthdays have always been a big deal but yeah um health has really been a thing and then this year um I missed all the cysts and things in my ovaries and the pains and all of that kind of stuff. I then, yo, guys, a boy went past me, ne? he walked past me and I forgot to pinch my nose. And now there's bones growing inside my body. You do not talk to boys. Like, I don't think girls understand this. Like, especially... When you haven't met one that has like proposed to you and married you. You see that one you can breathe with. He's the bone of your bones and you are what, 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 what. But you need to be really careful. Like you really need to step away from boys. And I'm saying this because they could be someone thinking, oh yeah, I definitely, I'm ready for a kid this year. Like, yo, you know, I get it. People can say that, yeah, there are some married women who are single in their marriage and they're single parents. But still, guys, I feel like it's even tougher when you have a child and you are not married. I'm just saying. I'm just saying because I feel like if I was in a proper committed relationship, um, you know, I don't know how to put this. But I just feel like when people have a proper solid bond and a proper relationship that is ready for a child, then that's where you can get these surprises. Would you hey, I wasn't pinching my nose and now chiggy chiggy there are bones growing inside of my body. You know? Now personally, I love marriage. I love the idea of marriage and the purpose of it and the the idea of marriage. It just really excites me. And I, I and I feel that definitely without a doubt, like marriage is the heel as well marriage is the heel that most of us are willing to die on because ah guys some of us actually want partners partners that we can rely on and they can rely on us i feel like i'm deviating but i think what i'm trying to say in this video is that it's what i get again what's the title of the video it's life update update on my life yeah but yeah, so it's just that that I've been really sick. I've been really like just going through it health wise, but I'm here. We made it into 2023, and we're almost making it out of 2023. And yeah, harvesting, um, harvesting a person inside of my board. Need to stretch my leg. So yeah, school is about them to guys because ha. Huh? Rana, God made us women, gave us a womb, and he said, if you breathe next to a boy, you're not married too. Anything gonna happen. And I feel like this is another conversation that we should actually have, you know, because I know in black societies, it has been normalized that, ah, you know what, at least you've got two kids, at least you've got one child, even though you're not married, like, it's fine. And then you get to, like, um, another race and how things are done there, and they're like, Mm, you have sent yo yes you have yeah, like it, it becomes you know um but yeah i think this is something we can all talk about i don't know how you feel about it um i know i'm not married and i'm growing bones inside of my body like my organs have shifted to accommodate these bones and yeah man like it's it's really something I was, I never wanted this, not this year. Guys, I would look at babies and cringe. Yo, I'm serious. I would look at babies and cringe and not in a bad way, which is funny because last year, not even last year, I think the year before last year, I was just like, oh my gosh, babies. I want to, I'd like to have a child, like hoping that I'd be in a proper relationship and you know, God would just surprise me. <laughs> but that didn't happen. 
but i was just like yo you know before my grandmother leaves like i wanted to have to hold this pure innocent soul in her arms you know before she leaves like she can't just leave without because Gungani is my grandmother's first great grandchild so i was like if my great if my grandmother can just have one last great grandchild like because my grandmother's 80 guys so if my grandmother can have this one last great grandchild and hold she never got this chance with Gungani so if she can just if she can just i'd be very happy you know i love my grandmother so much so yeah and that was me 2020 one 2022 whoo i'd look i like I'd, even this year i'd walk into arguments i'm like why must these babies things like why must they be in front man eh, eh, like there's no need right guys guys hey it's not safe it's not safe because first of all when you become pregnant as a woman like your whole life and body shifts and pregnancies are not the same some women have the healthiest of pregnancies and some women have the worst of pregnancies it doesn't mean that you're being cursed or you're being punished but you don't know what's gonna happen especially now you can't be this young girl thinking oh young tanda i feel like we need to have a proper conversation where we actually talk about this you know in a structural way in a proper way but yeah that's my life update i hope you've caught on what i've been saying i've been posting videos there and there but yeah i hope you're gonna enjoy um the videos that i'm gonna post now sorry y'all so where i thought it was kumkani entering the room which is no problem because he's been on the channel before it was actually my mom so i had to stop the video um yeah and i think i don't know what i have missed but yeah we can engage in the comment section please don't forget to like my video i'd really appreciate it if you did usually it's better if you like it at, if you like at the beginning of the video so yeah let's keep talking i think now that i've posted this video um there's gonna be some sort of sense of freedom in the next videos that i post that will be relating to like health things and growing human bones inside of our bodies you know as women and the things that we go through and my experience you know we have so many experiences as women differently and yeah i feel like you know collabs would really be awesome collab yeah collabs would be like super super awesome but yeah we've reached the end of the video i hope that you've liked my video and that you know what you will yeah you will enjoy it and that you have enjoyed it and that you'll share it with your friends and like yeah you just take what i've said and you know yeah but anyways yes we've come to the end of the video end of the video thank you so much for watching up until this far till next time bye oh, nah.